Hello everyone, welcome back to YouTube channel AgriEdict. So we have come up with a very interesting, informative and important video for all the ICR JAG aspirants who are actually going to attend the ICR counselling 2023. In case of plant changes, if you have scored very good rank, so you end up getting two different options for your MSc. Like, so you can either choose the minor subject at IRI or the major subjects at other state agriculture universities. For example, so you can take either microbiology or sea technology at IRI or so you will have an option to take other major subjects like genetics and plant breeding or pathology from other state agriculture university. So in this case, the students, uh, there will be a lot of confusion among the students whether to go for the minor subjects or go for the major subjects in other state agriculture universities. So in this video, we have tried to address this issue and we will be giving you a general idea about the different departments, their merits and, uh, and about the lacunas if any. So we have compiled the opinions of your seniors like MSc and PhD scholars from the different departments of IRA. So where they will be giving you the information about their departments so that you can choose or you can decide whether to go for the major subjects at other state agriculture universities or the minor subjects in IRA. So we will be starting with genetics and then we will cover the pathology and microbiology and lastly seed change and technology. So without making any delay, let's get started. Okay, let us just start with the genetics. So, if you are a student who is scoring a rank where you can get the minor subjects at IRA or the major subjects at other state agriculture universities. So, in this case, what you have to do? Whether you have to choose the minor subjects at IRA or you have to, you need to go for the major subjects in other state agriculture universities. So to answer this question, let us just divide the students into two different categories. Like, first category would be who is actually interested in research and wanting to make his career in agriculture itself. And the second category of students who is not interested in this field, uh, who is actually targeting for the competitive, several competitive exams. So this will be the second category. So to answer this question, like for the first category of students, if you are seriously wanting to make your career in agriculture, if you are wanting to explore the field of agriculture, so if you are wanting to choose any of the departments in the plant science, I would suggest you to go for genetics and plant breeding first. Keep it as a first priority. So in case. Uh, based on the based on the rank that you are getting if you are not getting the IRA in GPB I would suggest you not to take the minor subjects at IRA only because of the fact that you are getting the IRA don't do it just go for other top agriculture state agriculture universities do your MSc from there so if you are really interested just prepare for the PhD entrance exam that is SRF and then come back to IRA in the same department that is genetics and plant breeding or else if you are interested in pathology the pathology is also a very good subject you can also consider that but talking about the minor like uh, microbiology and seed technology don't think of coming to IRA just so just that you are getting the IRA in that minor departments so the best option would be taking genetics and plant breeding itself if you're not getting in getting in IRA just go for other state agriculture university why because the research facilities the kind of like the atmosphere and also about not about the atmosphere like the area that you get into like there the area that you can work in that it is very broad in case of genetics and plant breeding and also if, if you talk about the recruitment organizations the number of recruitments and the different organizations which will actually take the plant breeders are more when you just compare it with other minor departments so i would personally suggest you go for other state agriculture universities if you are very like very much confident that you have will make your career in agriculture itself Otherwise, like uh, for the second category of students, as I told you, if you are solely wanting to prepare for competitive exams, then IRA would be the best place for whatever departments you get. So in whichever department you get, you can come to IRA. It doesn't mean that you have you will have nothing to do. You will th there will be definitely a minimum work that you have to complete and also a minimum time that you have to invest. But apart from that, the atmosphere that you get in IRA that will be very much helpful for you to prepare for any of the competitive exams but there is a changing trend after the post covid where like uh, we are not getting the hostel this i should mention here because after covid like the hostel facilities are not there uh, and you will there is no assurance that you will be definitely getting the hostel immediately after the seat allotment you might be like uh, there might be a waiting period of at least um, up to one year where if you want to come to delhi like you have to see your own accommodation so this is this issue is there i wanted to mention it here because like uh, because you just choose the ira so that you can go to the campus and uh, just experience the safe environment, the healthy environment here, which will actually help in your preparation. If this is not the case after the post-COVID, the things are actually changing at IRA. 
even the cost of living has been raised from this year so make sure to contact your seniors from the iri so that you will get, get a clear idea about the current situation at iri so that you can just decide whether to come for iri or choose any other state agriculture universities for the major subjects so this would be my recommendation for genetics and plant breeding if you are in a condition where you get the minor subjects at iri and the major subjects at other state agriculture universities Hello everyone, welcome to AgriEdit. I am Manoj Pien, your mentor for plant pathology. I have completed my master's in plant pathology in IARI, New Delhi. Today I am here to speak few words about my department and a few things that could help you people uh, in taking the master's or uh, in the state of confusion where you will be uh, when you have to decide which department to go in the plant science. So you people know under plant science we have various departments in that the order of preferences will be genetics, plant pathology, seed science, microbiology and so on and so So uh, before that uh, let me tell you I was also in state of confusion when I got the IRA plant pathology. So at that time what I have what the decisions that I have taken I will let you know. So first telling about the plant pathology. Uh, under plant science, there is a differences of departments. So I will tell you first. See the genetics and plant breeding, whatever it comes, it comes under the crop improvement aspects of the plant. So which is a little far and little uh, uh, separated from the plant protection part. So plant pathology, entomology, and agriculture, some uh, chemistry, and those parts comes under the plant protection part. So what is this crop improvement and plant protection? See crop improvement, their main objective is to develop a new varieties, improve the seed productions and so and so. But when it comes to plant pathology, which is a crop protection, they help in the protecting the plant. I think in this stage, you people know the clear difference between what is plant protection and what is crop improvement. So that is the major difference between uh, the genetics and seed science and the plant pathology. This plant pathology is a unique uh, department that falls under the plant science group. So uh, this is the first thing you people have to remember whether it comes under plant protection or crop improvement. Okay, then the next part comes uh, where you have to uh, you, you have to have some reasons to why not to take plant pathology. I have seen many people who have given a very basic reason that is those people don't like entomology. So what is the connection here? Yes, there is a connection where in the in this current academic uh, system we have to select a major subject and a minor subject. So for us, for us the minor subject will be entomology. So in the in case of the SRF that you give for the higher studies, if you want to do PhD and all, so you have to prefer uh, entomology as your minor subject and you have to study entomology, sericulture and all those things. So that will be a big problem for many people. So that is the basic reason many people give, uh, they say that I love plant pathology, that is my favorite subject, but they say that uh, but entomology is there, so I won't prefer plant pathology. So this is also the major reason people give. I think this will also be reason for you people also. So these are the two reasons uh, majorly that we have to consider under the plant pathology. So apart from that, plant pathology is a very beautiful subject where you can, you have to, uh, you come across the various concepts, you have to come across the memory based things and uh, concepts and there are very uh, various other aspects also. We deal with the proper uh, what we say microbiological things like uh, fungi those bacteria and those things then we come under the uh, uh, epidemiological aspects etymological aspects then it comes to the management aspects and there also when it comes to the chemical uh, so there are various parts in the department where uh, we have a very large scope in understanding the subjects analyzing the subjects and nowadays it is uh, uh, you know the molecular plant pathology that is in a booming stage where you are uh, identifying the effectors, receptors, so, so those things are in a very booming state. So uh, that comes. Okay, uh, so the next thing is this is about the department and the subject. Okay, so the next part what we have to consider in the department is IRA New Delhi. So IRA New Delhi will provide MSc seats in uh, various sub colleges like uh, uh, the Jharkhand and NIBSM Raipur. So there also it is there. Nowadays, the guides are not available so those people have been allotted to IRA New Delhi only but in future they will get their own guide there and they will be allotted in their campus 
So main campus will have a limited, uh, but the whole department will be maintained by the IRA New Delhi only. So the opportunities, whatever the people of the IRA New Delhi will keep, they will also be uh, given to the sub campuses also. Uh, but the problem is you will not be explored to the world of New Delhi. So that is the thing. So then next comes the uh, opportunities. So opportunities after MSc I will speak. Uh, after MSc, uh, of course, the higher studies is the big uh, opportunity, big uh, task or the, uh, you know, what we say, the path we have to take. Okay, so the higher studies you can do in India or in abroad. So when it comes to the, when you come here for in the North India and all, uh, you people will, of course, will be exposed to the abroad concepts. So there are some opportunities in IRA New Delhi also to go to abroad and uh, have few months of work there also. So that's also there. But for the higher studies completely, you can go to the abroad. Uh, so for the PhD, for the research uh, uh, aspects and all, so the support whatever you want, uh, there is uh, there are resources in IRA New Delhi where you can easily get into the abroad uh, for your higher studies. In India also for the SRF, you people know that uh, the people of the IRA New Delhi is being uh, cracking the SRF exam so clearly. So I think the level of exposure, the level of opportunities, the level of encouragement that you get at IRA New Delhi will help you for the higher studies. So okay, after uh, MSc, what are the other opportunities? Is uh, one is you can uh, get into uh, become a JR or SRF in the uh, research laboratories, or uh, you will also be preferred as young professionals in the uh, laboratories. That's also there. So the crack or whatever uh, things are there. So the, those things you will get. And the uh, remaining opportunities is related to the private companies. So private companies, of course, being at IRA New Delhi, you people have a large scope, you people have a, a very great opportunity where you can explore yourself and all those things are there. So uh, that opportunity is there and that uh, exposure you can go through the placement center of IRA New Delhi which is very active nowadays and it is helping people in uh, getting placed in a various reputed uh, private companies. So that is there. Uh, the other part is the uh, Competitive exams. If you are preparing for any competitive exam, of course, the resources you want, the guidance you want, all these things are uh, being uh, available in the IRA New Delhi campus. So, I think this is the greatest opportunity. Mainly, about all these, the IRA will expose you to the new world where you can understand the agriculture in a very different aspect. So, for that, uh, plant pathology uh, will help you a lot will uh, guide you a lot uh, to uh, various fields of agriculture so that you can take in your career. So by this I will just conclude myself like uh, if you love the subject plant pathology is for you and plant pathology will surely lead you uh, to the greater success but don't be confused just be clear whether you want to crop protection or to crop improvement so then you can uh, go for it. Okay, Thank you. Hi guys uh, I'm Brunda. I completed Masters in Microbiology at IRA New Delhi and currently pursuing a PhD in Microbiology at IRA New Delhi. Today's topic of discussion is if you are the one who got IRA Microbiology through ICR entrance and genetics or pathology in some other colleges like SAUs, then you are confused which one to choose. Then this video is for you guys only. I was also one among you guys when we qualified JRF. I got uh, USB genetics through state entrance and IRA microbiology through ICR entrance. Then I also asked so many seniors and settled in utter confusion. Later I chose IRA microbiology only. What I want to suggest for you guys is you decide yourself. If you are interested in genetics or pathology, then go for that subject only. Second case, if you are not particular about your subject and you are fond of IRI or you want to keep subject knowledge as a backup and you want to prepare for some other competitive exams, then choose IRI microbiology only. Second thing, uh, career opportunities in microbiology. If you want to work in uh, government sector, then assistant professor, ARS scientist and as a microbiology scientist in uh, some other government bodies like uh, ICMR and pollution control boards. Uh, now in ARS, uh, microbiology candidates can also participate in uh, the soil science, environmental science and uh, dairy microbiology uh, posts. It's not like uh, if you are a microbiology candidate means you have to compete for microbiology posts only. These disciplines posts for, all the, for that also we can uh, compete. Then second thing, if you want to compete, if you want to explore private jobs then uh, 
बायो फर्टिलाइजर कंपनीज आर युअर फ्रेंड्स एंड वन मोर थिंग यू गाइज कैन ऑल्सो एक्सप्लोर द पोजिशन लाइक एस आर एफ प्रोजेक्ट असिस्टेंट एंड वाई पी यंग प्रोफेशनल थर्ड थिंग कमिंग टू आई आर आई माइक्रोबायोलॉजी डिविजन एज यू गाइज ऑल नो आई आर आई इज नोन टू प्रोवाइड गुड क्वालिटी ऑफ एजुकेशन इरेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द डिविजन सेम थिंग विथ आई आर आई माइक्रोबायोलॉजी डिविजन इफ यू इफ यू आर इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन द सब्जेक्ट देन इट विल गिव यू गुड क्वालिटी रिसर्च आर यू वॉन्ट टू प्रिपेयर फॉर सम अदर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम देन इट विल सपोर्ट फॉर प्रिपेरेशन टू एंड वन मोर पर्क ऑफ डूइंग डिग्री इन आई आर आई हिज आई आर आई विल गिव यू डिग्री सर्टिफिकेट एज यू आर अ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी पी जी आर पी एच डी होल्डर नॉट एज अग्रिकलर माइक्रोबायोलॉजी सो वी कैन कॉम्पीट विथ अ जनरल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी स्टूडेंट्स ऑल्सो वेर एज इन केस ऑफ सम अदर कॉलेजेस लाइक यूएस बैंगलोर यूएस रायचूर देर दे विल गिव यू डिग्री सर्टिफिकेट एज यू आर अग्रिकलर माइक्रोबायोलॉजी पी जी आर पी एच डी होल्डर सो दिस इज एन अनदर पर्क फॉर अस एंड वन मोर थिंग इज If you are fond of abroad studies, then microbiology division will send you under uh, to abro under NAHEP cast uh, international training program. Uh, microbiology division will send you to the foreign uh, for about three months period. There you guys are doing the part of your PhD work only, so it will support you guys in that way also. And one more thing is there is a provision of uh, campus selection in IRI microbiology division. so i want to sum up as if you choose iri microbiology over genetics or pathology mark my word guys you won't regret for your decision thank you good luck guys okay lastly we'll talk about the seed science and technology so before starting i will just divide the students into two different categories the first category would be the students who are actually interested in agriculture are planning to make their career in agriculture itself and second category would be the students who are actually wanting to pursue their msc solely because of they get some financial assistance and they get the time to prepare for uh, several competitive exams so i will just start with the first category so if you are interested in agriculture why seed science and technology so if you uh, if you think like you are okay with the seeds and the technology and genetics and plant breeding the priority should be always genetics and plant breeding whether you are getting in ira or other state agricultural universities why because in seeds and technology the area within which you can work is very limited very much limited and also the research facilities the infrastructure and the funding is also very limited so you don't get much opportunity to explore in case of seeds and technology so that is the main lacuna here and when you talk about the genetics and plant breeding the area that you can work in is very broad and you will get a chance to work on the novel ideas so that is the main thing and talking about the recruitments where central government offer the jobs for different disciplines so opportunities in case of seeds and technology is very limited and in the most of the jobs you don't have the eligibility if you are pursuing for the your degree from seeds and technology but when you talk about the genetics and plant breeding for most of the central government organization there will be specific role or the specific eligibility that you can go for so that is why i prefer or i suggest you people to take genetics and plant breeding so one best option that you can or the one best thing that you can do is you can pursue your genetics and plant breeding from other state agricultural universities if you are getting and then prepare for srf and then come back to iri so this would be the best option that you can take seriously so this is about the first category of students the second category of students is preparing for competitive exams so if you are preparing for competitive exams and you don't have any specific interest in agriculture then you can come to iri even if you are getting the minor subjects but that doesn't mean that you will get a complete free time so there is a minimal work that you have to do and minimum time that you have to invest other than that there will be definitely time to for you to prepare for different competitive exams and talking about the atmosphere you already know that ir atmosphere is very good for the studies uh, though like post covid we are facing some issues for hostel allotment and all but overall it's quite better than many other state agriculture universities so that you can prepare well for others competitive exams so this is my overall suggestion about taking the minor subjects at iri i believe this video will be very much useful for you to decide whether to go for major subjects in other state agriculture universities or Uh, take the minor subjects in IRA. So, if you have any specific queries, you can always contact us to billiard display number. We'll be definitely happy to help you. Thank you.